And a lot of churches are just recycling people from other churches. That's not who I'm after. I'm looking for people that smell like weed. What's going on, everybody? Listen, I'm glad you're back with me today. I need to talk to you about something. Cannabis in the church. Pastor Jamal Bryant. Before I continue, I want you to live your best life by applying scripture to your relationships. As always, I've got a passage of scripture for you. Romans 14, 16 through 19, New King James Version. Therefore, do not let your good be spoken of as evil, for the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. For he who serves Christ in these things is acceptable to God and approved by men. So listen, as believers, we have to be careful about what we say and about what we do. Because we do not want the world to get the wrong idea about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, Pastor Jamal Bryant sits down in an interview where he discusses his life as a man, a pastor, and a civil rights leader, among other things. Now, as a pastor, he said that the church is becoming more irrelevant to young people and needs to come up with more innovative ways to bridge the gap. And I totally agree. Now, one of the ways he sees is using the cannabis market to get those young people who smell like weed to be a part of the church. Now, that sounds like a novel idea. Now, he wants, you know, he was talking about using some of the lands that New Birth Baptist Church has in Atlanta because the church has a whole lot of land. It does. So he's saying that some of the land can be used for this. Again, sounds like a novel idea. <laughs> but will it get support from the members? Will it get support from the body of Christ? And I would say no. Because, listen, already we have people saying that he's crazy, people calling his statement outrageous and sinful, to say the least. I've got a clip for you. Here's some of what he had to say. And a lot of churches are just recycling people from other churches. That's not who I'm after. I'm looking for people that smell like weed. I'm, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm at their place, Rashawn. Here's, no, 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 really. Is, New Birth is the largest land-owning black church in America. Wow. And so my position to my deacons is why aren't we not raising cannabis? I'll be able to bring in black males. They're able to do it legally. Mm. I'm teaching them farming. Oh, my God. I'm helping them to enhance the ecosystem. Uh, th th this is the kind of conversation. So if the guy, black boy in Bankhead said, they grow weed at the church, where do I join? Yes. I don't need no pamphlet for him. Yeah. Mm. You know I mean? Right, right. Yeah. He coming in. He coming in. And that, that's the group that I'm going after. Mm. Right, so now we know that there's a legal market for cannabis. We do know that. But the church getting involved mm, is going to raise some eyebrows. And it's already raising eyebrows because he made that statement. It's just like the church getting involved in the liquor market, making liquor. See what I'm saying? If the church does that, everybody's going to be like, what kind of church is this? You see what I'm saying? So, getting involved in the cannabis market is going to be the same way or maybe even worse. Many see weed as being harmful to those who engage in its habitual use. And we do know that they dispense uh, uh, cannabis for some medical purposes. And others use it recreationally. As far as I'm concerned, too many people use it recreationally and abuse it. We know that anything overdone can become habit-forming. But not only that, 
I've been hearing that these new modern cannabis plants are very bad for one's health. So I checked the CDC and the CDC says, the cannabis plant contains more than 100 compounds. All right, so one of these compounds include THC. I can't call the word, that, that word is too long, which is impairing or mind altering. This is definitely a problem. Another thing he discussed is how the church is going to bridge the gap between the older generation and the Gen Z. This generation has disconnected themselves from the gospel and from the church. And I could see why. Because the gospel message has not been lived out in a way that the young people can relate to it. Because of this, we have found that they are seeking truth in every other place and every other belief system, but not the church. As far as it's concerned, the Bible needs to be changed and the church needs to become up to date with some modern things, modern thinking. So basically, they want the church to get away from its moral standing and accept and adopt today's society, which is not going to happen. So, what do you think about Pastor Jamal wanting to create a cannabis business through the church? Is it a good idea or not? Will it do more harm than good? Those are the questions. But I want you to listen to uh, Bishop Patrick Wooden. He had to say something about this. Take a look. Everybody's talking about uh, Jamal Bryant. Uh, and um, his saying that uh, New Birth should take some of its vast land and use it to grow among all crops, grow cannabis, <clears throat> marijuana. Uh, <laughs> you know. Now, I'm going to tell you something. And maybe it's just wishful thinking on my part. I'm holding out for this to be revealed as a joke. I, I really am. Um, because I'm thinking, Brother Joshua, no preacher could be serious. No, no preacher could suggest such. And with all due respect to my brothers and sisters of the lighter hue, no black preacher would suggest that his church use this land. Not, not, not to plant corn. You know, okra, green beans, collard greens, praise Lord, tomatoes, all that. But marijuana. Now you've heard, now you've seen. Now it's your turn to let me know what you think. But I got one more thing to say to you, right? One more thing. Now many things in this world, many things in this society are legal, but it does not make them right. In the sight of God, many things that we do and we believe are not godly and they're not right. Do me a favor, please leave your comments. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. My name is William Nelson Ryan, and I will see you in my next video. This has been Love Factual. God bless you.